Okay, right here is a 1999 Hitachi EX-1800-3. The EX-1800-3 series was introduced by Hitachi in late 1996 as a replacement for the older EX-1800-2 series. Available from Hitachi in either front shovel or backhoe configurations, depending on what the customer preferred, the EX-1800-3 was designed to swing a bull clam rated at 13.7 cubic yard capacity in front shovel configuration. And an optional 19 cubic yard bull clam was also offered for the front shovel attachment for coal loading purposes. The backhoe attachment for this machine could be equipped with three different boom lengths and four different stick lengths, depending on what the customer preferred, allowing the machine to swing a rock bucket ranging from 5.8 to 14.8 cubic yards. And an optional 18.3 cubic yard bucket was also offered for the backhoe for coal loading purposes. This particular unit is equipped with a 28 foot 7 inch boom, a 13 foot 1 inch stick, and a 12.6 cubic yard bucket. The 31-inch general purpose crawler shoes were standard for the EX-1800-3 in either backhoe or front shovel configuration. Here you can see where the two axial piston travel motors are located, one on each crawler frame, and this is what will propel each individual track. And as you can see, the hydraulic motors and the hydraulic lines that power the motors are covered by these metal guards to protect the motors and the hydraulic lines from any rocks, dirt, or falling debris when the excavator is in operation. Here you can see where the boom and boom cylinders pin to the superstructure on the machine. And if you look on the front of the superstructure, you can see the manufacturer's tag, which lists both the machine's product identification number, along with the model number. And this machine has two travel speeds, 1.3 miles per hour at low travel speed and 1.7 miles per hour at high travel speed. To help give you an idea of the size of an EX-1800-3, this excavator measures 22 feet 8 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 20 feet 4 inches wide. Let's go up on her. Here you can see the sliding access ladder, which provides safe access for the operator or mechanics to board this machine. Okay. All of these compartments that you see right here provide access to the hydraulic pumps and the engines. Let's go inside for a closer look. The EX-1800-3 is a twin engine excavator and each engine on this machine drives four hydraulic pumps on each pump drive which consists of 
two variable displacement piston type main pumps, each producing 132.1 GPM to produce a total combined output of 528.4 GPM to power the front attachment and travel, a single variable displacement axial piston swing pump, each producing 90.9 .9 GPM to produce a total combined output of 181.8 GPM to power the swing circuit, and a single gear type pump, each producing 9.25 GPM to produce a total combined output of 18.5 GPM to power the pilot control circuit. This machine features a computer-aided engine pump control system in which the machine's speed sensing simulation system allows the pumps to make efficient use of the engine's power. The machine also features a relief oil minimizing system which reduces oil loss with minimal oil flow. You can see one set of hydraulic pumps right here driven off the front engine and behind me here you can see the second set of hydraulic pumps driven off the rear engine. Through here is the engine room. Let's get in there and check it out. EX1800-3 is powered by twin 450 horsepower Cummins QSK19C water-cooled four-cycle direct injection turbocharged and after-cooled inline six-cylinder diesel engines which work together to produce 900 flywheel horsepower at 1800 RPM and 3300 foot-pounds of torque at 1400 RPM for this machine. You can see the rear engine right here, and directly ahead of it is the front engine. This compartment that you see located directly below the operator's cab is the electronic room. And inside of this box that you see mounted on the wall right here is where all of the computers, relays, and electronics are located to work this machine. Okay, inside of this compartment here you can get a better view of the front engine. Below here you can see one of the two high torque axial piston swing motors on this machine, both of which are geared to two stage planetary swing transmissions. The motors are positioned 180 degrees from each other on each end of the slew ring to provide better contact area for the swing gear and to also help wear the ring more evenly. Mounted directly behind the operator's cab is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right inside of here, and it holds 317 gallons of hydraulic oil. And mounted on the right side of this machine is the diesel fuel tank, which you can see right here, which holds 720 gallons of fuel.
right side of this machine, here you can see the grease barrel for the central lubrication system. And here you can get a good view looking out at the backhoe attachment in the front. On the top of the engine house, here you can see the covers over the mufflers and exhaust stacks. And you can see the set of air intake and air cleaning units for the engines. And from here you can get a good overview of the top deck on an EX1800-3. Now let's go inside and check out the operator's cab on this machine. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the EX1800-3. Let's take a look at what some of these controls do. Okay. These two hand levers that you see directly out in front of the operator seat connect to the two foot pedals that you see on the floor and this is how you travel this excavator. Each foot pedal controls each individual track. The two joysticks that you see off to the left and right sides of the operator's seat control all the digging functions of the backhoe attachment in the front or if this machine were set up as a front shovel. Off to the left side control panel here you can see all of the gauges to monitor this machine when it's in operation. And here you can see warning lights to alert the operator in case of a malfunction. Here you can see the two throttle hand levers for both engines. And here you can see the climate control switches. Over here behind the right hand joystick you can see the ignition keys for the rear engine, the front engine, and here you can see the emergency engine stop switch. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were operating an EX1800-3. Located behind the operator's seat, you can see storage compartments and the noise level inside the cab of the EX1800-3 was rated at 75 decibels. The overall operating weight of an EX1800-3 in either front shovel or backhoe configuration is 198 and a half tons. In 2001, 
Hitachi launched the new EX1900-5 model as a replacement for the older EX1800-3. The new EX1900 series featured many improvements over the older EX1800 series, some of which included an increase in bucket capacity, an increase in operating weight, and an increase in power achieved from a redesigned power system utilizing a single diesel engine instead of two. In 2008, the EX1900-5 was upgraded to the EX1900-6. But there she is, a 1999 Hitachi EX1800-3.